Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, Awam Kenneth, and I'm back again for another one. Yes, I am alive, I know. And we are 1,400 subscribers. Like, how is that even possible in the first place? Like, that is just mental. So, today's video is going to be about Piggy First, um, formerly known as Piggy Bank. And I just wanted to do a video you know just content uh, about piggy about this piggy infrastructure and explain on it so it's going to be like a rant a little bit because it's more of questions than answers funny enough so my question my first question is how comes piggy vest is able to offer interest rates that are higher than what the bank is given currently now I'm not comparing the bank interest rates to the treasury bills, which is a whole different thing on its own. But, I mean, banks should be able to give a much more healthy interest rates, right, than what they are currently giving. Most banks, or I'll just give Access Bank as an example. Access Bank is currently, they sent me an email about giving, like, I think 1.5 for anything less than like 4 million there, right? So you're collecting like 1.5, 1.2% per annum per year. That is 300 and how many days? And it doesn't seem fair. And Piki Vest, on the other hand, is giving you like more than 6% for more than 30 days. And I'm just like, how? Why? You know, and... This is like the question that has always been perplexing my mind. Yes, Pikiverse has other third-party partners that they do business with, right? And these third-party partners afford Pikiverse the opportunity to give such healthy interest rates. And I'm like wondering, okay, why can't the banks not go into partnership with this so-called third party? Third parties and find a way of bringing much more revenue and making their customers much more happy right and since they're back and since they are a bank it's much more um will i say secure the same thing goes with microfinance banks microfinance banks I said to have the opportunities to give you a much more healthy interest rate so it seems above 10 percent right now because Diamond Bank, for example, has HIBA, which is High Interest Deposit Account. And the interest rate right now is just nothing to come about. It's just like you're keeping your money there just for the sense of security and not the sense of interest, right? Like for the sense of security and not for interest whatsoever because it's, it's, not, it's not anything to take home about, right? So that is my number one question. The second most important question is... Why is it that people outside of Lagos, when it, most bankers, especially outside of Lagos, are not aware of fintech platforms like Pigiverse, Carbon, Rise, Bamboo, whatsoever? Why is that these people are not aware of all these fintech platforms, right? And most, most, most of the people that have come in contact or know these platforms are basically in Lagos. Now, it plays to that concept that Lagos is Nigeria and anything apart from Lagos isn't Nigeria, right? And which is so, so, so unfair. But I'm like, we live in the modern times. And if you work for a bank, it means that you have a healthy income and you could afford internet, right? And with internet, you could afford news. And with news, you could afford to know that we have the so-called fintech platforms available. Now, I have called, like, let's just say two bankers that I know of, and most of them always tell me they don't know, they've never heard of it. And the funny fact is that one of these fintech platforms is being co-founded by a former bank CEO, and the people that work in this bank do not know of so-called fintech startups. It's, it's perplexing. It's like ignorance is the word of the day and it's just so confusing because when you call these certain bank individuals to ask them to clarify on said fintech platforms they're like wow i'm just hearing for it i'm just hearing of it for the first time i'm like okay interesting and when it comes to asset management firms 
it's just like you're talking to yourself at that point because you're not aware. And I'm like, okay, you are working in the bank. Are you not supposed to be providing financial solutions, right, to your customer? Apart from just working all day to get more customers, you're getting more customers and you're not even trying to find suitable ways to make them happy in your bank. Right now, the bank is not working for me. It's totally not. And now we have to go through this forest, if I may say so myself, like forest of information, trying to know what is real, what is not real. I mean, with the hoopla hoop of tri Tribe Agric, mind you, my money is with them and I'm meant to cash out, I think, in nine days' time from now. So. I'll update you guys if anything happens, but for now, I cannot shout. I have been seeing the emails, um, the hashtag, Trevor Greek pay up, Trevor, hashtag, Trevor, Trevor Greek pay up your investors. And right now, I do not want to talk. I do. Why I'm not bothered is because, to be honest, like the money there is, well, they always said, if you want to invest, invest with money that you can forget, right? So, yeah. So we're safe on that front, but Pikiverse, please let nothing happen to you. Because <laughs> when it happened to you, oh my god, 600 years, we'll still be finding who cost the cost. But with that said, like the hoopla hoop that happened with Trevor Grigg is just one of these things that we are meandering and the sec is not coming out to see anything. Uh, we still have no so called regulation. We have leadway assurance, ensuring everybody left, right, center, but not ensuring the investment itself, but ensuring the company. It's just a whole lot of like due diligence that should have been done. And to be honest, saying that private individuals should go ahead and do this due diligence their own self on their own terms, it's not feasible. Like, how many people are you going to call? How many? Who are you? You don't even have the information to equip yourself to do a necessary due diligence. So it just basically breeds a scam echo fair. And it's it's not it's not it's not really encouraging. So these are like two top questions. I know the video will probably say understanding piggy vest. So on the, for me to properly understand piggy vest, even though I have an account with them, I still have questions to be answered and it's just like, how can we make this platform more trustworthy? Like, how can I be rest assured? I know, like, and one thing about Piggyverse that has been able to make me feel comfortable, like, for the time being, is that the founders are both proactive and they are public. And we have heard that they have raised money. So, there seem to be some legitimacy in there and they have been published on top tech blogs in there and I have tried calling the customer care line of Figuvest and the person there reassured me. But with that said, like we still need someone from the government to say, hey, you put your money here, you're good, you can sleep. But until then, one eye is going to be open, you know? So, and please stay safe out there, guys. So, yeah, this is just my little rant about Piggyverse and the fintech ecosystem in Nigeria, or will I say the scam ecosystem in Nigeria. Nonetheless, see you in my next one, and stay safe, guys. Stay